Hello and welcome to my review of the Jimmy Air Balloon Inflatable 2009 Animated Rising Pop-Up Gargoyle. This is a legendary inflatable to say the least, a favorite among collectors. I bought this from a guy named Kevin Walls who does some elaborate Star Wars displays. He also sells some prototypes. Uh, his Star Wars collection is far greater than that of my own, so that's kind of why I'm praising it. Uh, he's also just super nice as well. He said a while back that he had a gargoyle, or at least I think he posted it on his eBay page, and I had expressed interest in it to him a, a while back, and then eventually, a few months ago, uh, we made a deal for 170 It is in pre-owned condition, but I think he's taken pretty good care of it. 170 shipped, now that's actually kind of interesting, and the reason why is because I didn't know this, but until I looked on the Wayback Machine, the retail of this gargoyle was actually 169 so Grandin Road has always been expensive, and 14 years ago, they were just as expensive. I honestly think that this is kind of how much this inflatable would sell for today. If not, maybe $1.99 or so. But I wanted to go back and actually see for myself, you know, all right, how much did Grandin Road sell this thing for? And that is the price. Grandin Road has kind of always been it for collectors, and I say that because all of their designs, which they didn't get many, they were all quality. They're very similar to a place like Sam's Club in the sense that they don't get very many, but they are always stellar designs. Another reason for that is the videos, which are just truly priceless. They bring back extraordinary memories. They do serve as peak Jimmy in my eyes, and I'm sure a lot of you guys else out there uh, agree with me on that. They are some of the best years ever, and Grandin Road really did serve as that. I will talk a little bit more about the box, but there's really nothing to discuss. This is as you can see, not the original. I'm not too unhappy about that though because the original box just said Grandin Road on the side and that was it. I think it also said Gargoyle or something. This inflatable does deserve a lengthy introduction, but I think that'll cover it. So let's go ahead and open up the Jimmy Airbow Inflatable 2009 Animated Pop-Up Gargoyle. With a quick change of setting, I've got the inflatable all spread out here. I can confirm it has a YEF 125. It's almost identical to the 2007 Pirate Chest, which I used to own before it became too thin and I had to throw it out, unfortunately. I've tested it once. I'm very pleased with it, except for a few minor things, but we'll get into that in just a second here. So let's go ahead and inflate it. There we have it, the 2009 Grandin Road Rising Animated Gargoyle. This is a spectacle, no doubt. Amazing to have it in my collection. Starting off with some specifics, start out with the epitaph. That is the MMIX right there. Now what that means is 2009 in Roman numerals, M being 1000, another M being 2000, and then the I before the X subtracting one from 10, which X is, you get nine. So that's a little Easter egg that Jimmy threw in. However, when you look at the promotional images, you'll see that it says MMVIII, which would be 2008. Usually I think Jimmy runs about a year ahead for almost everything they do. So I'd say at this point in time, May 2023, they could be finalizing some 2024 designs. So they, they run about a year out. So they had this inflatable in 2008 ready to go, but then obviously because it was coming out in 2009, they had to change that at the, I wouldn't say last minute, I think they always knew it was gonna happen. But I love that, that is probably my favorite feature is that epitaph. You've got your gargoyle here with some yellow patterning on the wings. Now it definitely has a lot of trouble staying on to the gargoyle. The stitching back here, if I can get a good look at that, I've had to before, well, now it closed on me. Use some safety pins. It's ironic that they call them safety pins. I swear to God, I got like pricked 20 freaking times. The stitching is not high quality by any means. I did have to go back and rework it. Now it's fine. There's also another one, if you can see, attached to the fingers so that they would stay together. There's one back here. Yep, there it is. So I've, I've used three safety pins to kind of stitch it up again 
to where it looks somewhat like it should. Now, something that people do not like about this inflatable are these green circles for where the blinking green C7s are. The reason why you can't see them blinking is because it's daytime, not that they're burned out because I can't confirm they are working. I just checked them out a second ago. I don't know why they put them on there. Personally, I don't mind it just because this thing is 14 years old. It is dumb that they put those, but then again, I just don't really give it a second thought. Moving around to the back side, it looks really good from all angles. There aren't many inflatables that look like this. The only thing I can really say that it goes in line with is maybe a haunted house or something just because of all the gray and black that you can see. It looks really good. It almost looks like a, a temple, if you will. I just thought it kind of looked like, I don't know, the Parthenon or something. And there are the wings. So you can see from the backside, that's how they look. Keep going around here. Try not to mind the pool floats. I know they're a little bit of a distraction. There's a tag, I haven't cut that off. I probably won't just because I think it's part of this inflatable at this point. How valued this thing is, I'm really not gonna touch it. It also has two zippers, which we will look at in just a second when it rises. There's one right behind here. So there you go, that's the first one. And then the second one is behind the gar, is actually, yeah, it's behind the gargoyle. It's right there. Also, the reason why I said earlier that this reminds me of the 2007 pirate chest is just the functionality of it. The animation is you cut airflow to the gargoyle itself, and that's what causes it to sink in, turn it back on, and then it rises. So that's just how it works. It's very similar to the pirate chest, with the exception that this one is just 10 times better. You've got two tether attachments on the side, one there, and then obviously the other one right here this did not come with any stakes or tethers but i don't mind that at all i honestly don't care at this point if i get an inflatable that's in this good condition and as highly valued as this one is honestly i'll just buy the stakes for what, however much it is on yard inflatables and then call it a day you have some yellowing around the mouth which is a little odd to me i don't exactly know why they did that i don't think it's visually pleasing but it does match the lines on the wings jimmy's released several gargoyles in the past I would say, I don't even know, maybe seven or eight total. So they don't come up very often. I'd really like to see a modern take on this particular design. However, I don't see that happening. Maybe it will, who knows. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed my review on the 2009 Grandin Road animated rising pop-up gargoyle. I'll catch you later. Well, now that we have it fully in the darkness, there are just a few more things I wanna to touch on. The first of which being the height. This inflatable is said to be 74 inches tall. At least that's what I saw on the Grandin Road website. It's not really common knowledge of how tall this inflatable is, but I would put six foot. That's just the closest you'll get to it. However, it is not six foot when it goes back down. I would say it's around five when it does that. Second thing I wanna discuss is the C7 lighting. You'll notice that in the Grandin Road image that they use to basically sell this and market this inflatable, the C7 is red in the skull, and then there are yellow ones in the arms. And then in the video that was released, they're green in the arms. And I don't really know how many prototypes or variations of this gargoyle exist. I've also seen an inflated real life picture, and it says 2008 for where the epitaph would go. And I would assume that could be the one that was in the video. I don't think this sold in 2008. I think this is brand new for 2009, but I just thought that that was very interesting how many concepts or versions have been shown of the Scargoyle, but this is what it truly looks like. The other reviews on the Scargoyle look exactly like this one. So I just want to talk a little bit about that. So thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you later. Peace out. Bye.